Now, now this is an interesting battery. Uh, I've actually been thinking about uh, buying this and selling it in Sweden since we don't manufacture tri triangular battery packs, but many customers require them to fit their e-bike. Uh, so I've been looking to buy a sample of this for a long time and other triangular battery packs, but now I don't have to. Now a customer came in. The problem is it don't wanna charge. So let's have a look. My staff always unscrew all the screws. I think they also undid those. Really nice custom case. Oh, and it has an indicator. Let's see if it works. No. Oh, the BMS got their own little compartment. The USB module, because it has USB only for charging. Your device. Oh, and it's loose. Oh, how nice and flexible. You don't see that often. And this is on off switch. And I'm guessing a best way BMS. 2.54 millimeter pitch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I see why it don't want to charge. Very low voltage, 24 volt. And I can read uh, it's 8 plus 5, so it's 13S. Uh, really huge charger, but it has a fan, so therefore it's poor quality. Uh, not poor quality, but bugs will go in here and lay eggs, and I can see a lot of dirt inside. And if the fan stops working, the charger does too, and here we can see, oh, disgusting. But it's a 58.8 volt charger, so that's 14S. So let's have a count here. Let's have a read on the BMS. And that is dead is probably because he hasn't used it in a while. Or it could be the USB module. This one is constantly on, converting the full voltage of the battery pack to 5 volt USB, so it's always ready when you plug it in and there is always a loss so this one draws power i don't know how much uh, it might be as one watt but if you leave the battery pack on this will drain the battery pack eventually and uh, depending on the low voltage for this to work which could be as low as 3.3 volts these con converters usually go in a range if this is for 14s maybe go down to 12 up to 16 somewhere like that before it stops working I uh, don't know if it's best way, but definitely look that way, but with a Chinese label, not commercial label, and it says 13S, so he got the wrong charger. <laughs> he got the wrong charger. Yeah, that might be the problem why it's dead as well. But no, he actually brought two chargers. This one has an Amazon. Here's probably the charger he got with the battery. XLR, yeah, for plus 48 volt. Yeah, you better believe it's positive, not negative, and here we have. And ST chargers are pretty decent, but this one, I don't know if it has a fan, but it definitely has openings for bugs to crawl into. Any good manufacturer always makes sealed chargers, so that doesn't happen. Because it doesn't matter how good the charger is, if it gets bugs in there, it will break. So he bought the correct charger after all. I don't know why he brought the other one. He probably has many e-bikes. Let's see if it's connected properly. And this one seems to be same port for charging and discharging. Uh, it has P minus and P minus one. And it does actually have charging connected to another, but that's probably for convenience. And only one of these pads is connected, but I think that's enough. Um, not that many MOSFETs, but they are very big. I can only see four MOSFETs, but they're huge. Like four times the size of normal ones. So probably one for charging and three for discharging. 13S, 50 amps, I think it said. Low voltage, 2.8 volt. Now let's have a look at the battery pack as well and see how they designed it. Remove all the power. See, so yeah, they have a real amount. Yes, a real amount connector. So that's good at least. Uh, but this is pretty worthless. It has to be tight around the cable so it won't pretend protect anything. 
and it has the BMS on the outside, probably so they could send it as a spare part. And no fuse. Don't usually recommend fuses because all BMS have um, built-in overcurrent protection. But when it comes to these kind of batteries, you put to an e-bike kit, there's a big chance you reverse the polarity from the battery into the controller. And the BMS maybe cannot handle that properly. So in these kind of batteries, when you're connecting it to a controller, a fuse can be a good idea. But fuses are mostly for lead acid and in batteries that doesn't have any other protection. Otherwise the BMS are capable of doing that the fuse can do without compromising everything else. Lots of barley paper. Yeah, it's kind of a bit tricky removing this with all the wires. Because I tried building triangular battery packs many times, but I can't find a good config that I think is actually good. It's FST cells, and not the best, but not really poor quality. FST ATC50, 2000 milli, 2500 milliamp hours. I don't think they are high drain. But they can be. They are usually 2000 to 2500. Really thick nickel. I can usually guesstimate how thick it is. My guess is 0.3 millimeters, uh, but that's just a guess. They have HP kind of corners. I think are difficult. Oh, they they drag the wire through the battery pack. I don't like that because it's so easy that this short circuit on the sharp nickel, especially now when I'm pulling it apart. But that's not a good idea. And this one is also a little bit flat here. And these are different type of nickel here. Yeah, they have a different type of row here to fit everything. But there is space, so they really didn't need to do that, but for some reason they did. Um, nothing particular fantastic that is tied is most likely because it has a USB module that draws a lot of power. So if you're not using this output, just cut one of these wires, any one will do, and tape it up again. Then you're not getting any power to this circuit. And if this one short circuits or if anything happens to this, it can kill the whole battery. If there's a short circuit in here, uh, the BMS will detect the short circuit and turn the battery off for charging and discharging. We've seen that so many times, especially with these cheap Chinese DC converters. And here you can actually adjust the voltage or the amps or both, most likely the both. But since this one is so low voltage, there's nothing we can do. We don't build battery packs this way. And if we did, there is just no good way to fit cells in here. We would like to use 21700 cells. And I think this case is made for 18650, so I don't think they will fit. So I, I don't think there's margin for 21700 cells in this case. Uh, but not a bad battery. Treat it well and maybe it will last a while. FST is not that bad, but it, it might last 3 to 5 years. Maybe shorter if you use it every day. Uh, so it depends what you're willing to pay for a battery. Not the best we've seen, but definitely should be working when you get it.